a short while now, Hinrich Schwabro has had his very own power plant in the cellar. It's what's known as a mini cogeneration unit. With an engine that burns natural gas, the unit simultaneously produces heat and electricity. Installation costs 5,000 euros and maintenance is included. This homeowner is hoping it'll pay off. It's cheaper because the cogeneration units have an energy efficiency of 95%. That means almost 100% utilization of the energy produced. So we can generate our own heat and produce electricity for the public grid. It's this combination that makes it so cost effective. The project originated at the Lichtblick company in Hamburg. It's Germany's biggest provider of green electricity. The private cogeneration units, which are really mini power plants, are switched on and off here. It's also where the electricity is channeled into the public grid when the demand for power is particularly high. For every kilowatt hour fed into the network, Lichtblick pays customers like Schwabro half a euro cent. And the mini power plants are being expected to deliver even more. <laughs> To promote a shift in energy use, it's really important to be able to compensate for fluctuations in energy generated by wind and solar power. Big conventional power plants can't do that. It takes too long to power them up. We need something flexible, something that works at short notice. That's our plan for what we call swarm power. That's what our home power plants can do. Swarm power entails networking 100,000 mini power plants so they can compensate for supply fluctuations in the public grid, when there's very little wind, for example. Working together, the cogeneration units produce about 2,000 megawatts of power. That's the equivalent of two nuclear power plants. German carmaker Volkswagen is supplying the internal combustion engines for the mini power plants. The first pilot cogeneration units are being built at its engine assembly plant in Salzgitter. The components this involves are the same ones that we deal with here daily. That's because our cogeneration units are like cars without wheels. The engine is already being built into natural gas powered VW, such as the Turan. Cogeneration is an opportunity for Volkswagen to broaden its product range. The question is, if you want to do business, employ people and keep the region alive, then you've got to consider how that can be done. You can do that by developing new things, brand new things, but that costs a great deal of money and takes a long time. Or you can produce new things by simply combining existing technologies. Hinrich Schwabro is one of the first people to try heating his home with a mini power plant this winter. But if the unit proves its worth, 100,000 of them will be installed in other homes in the next few years.